Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this landing page build guide, you're going to learn a simple three-step process to building your landing page using 100% free software. I'll link up to that software in the description along with a timestamp table of contents and a link to our sales funnel organizer, but more on that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump right in. If you wanna skip the strategy part of this video and go straight into building the landing page from scratch, here's the timestamp to do that. So the very first step you have here is actually going out and doing a little bit of research to make sure you know what type of landing page and what elements you need on your landing page. So the first step is just find three landing pages to model. These should be similar landing pages or just really simple and elegant designs that you like. Keyword being simple, we don't need to be complicated with our landing page designs here. And then once you have those three model landing pages, step number two is making sure you understand your market. So we're going to quickly go through one case study. I'll link up in the description to a landing page tutorial that dives much deeper into the strategy of what we're doing. Here I'm just 80 20 in the process so we can get to building our landing page as quickly as possible. So I'll use this example from jasonbondpicks.com. You can see the above the fold section here and then on the left hand side you can see how long the landing page actually is. Here we're just going to click stick stick with click. Here we're just going to stick with above the fold and I'm going to zero in on the five elements that you need to look at for understanding other landing pages. Number one, you want to look for congruency. How have they tied what's going on on the landing page to their ad? So most good marketers and larger players in your niche will make sure that the message that's in the ad is the same as the message that's on the landing page. So you really want to understand what that message is and how it's being pulled through to the landing page. I'll get to that in a moment if that doesn't really make sense. Number two, you want to make sure you understand who their ideal customer is. Who are they targeting with their landing page? Because this is going to help you with who you're going to target with your landing page. Then we have what action and commitment are visitors being asked to take and make. And then finally, how long is the landing page? In this particular instance, if we go back a slide, you'll see here that his landing page is actually very long. And this is because there's a lot of trust and credibility things that needs to be built up because he's talking about people's hard earned money. Whereas if you're doing something on time management or productivity, you might not need to show as many testimonials, trust seals, and media properties that he's that you've been featured in because you're not talking about you know someone's retirement. So let's go ahead and go through the first part of his landing page. Number one, is there congruency? Well, this is from a YouTube ad. So he actually has the YouTube ad playing on the landing page. So it's you can't get much more congruent than that. In your particular instance, you wanna make sure that the same images and the same headlines that you're using in your, in your ads or in your content is also on your landing page. So it'd feel like a natural progression. Number two, who is they talk? Who is Jason talking to? Well, here, this one is talking to someone who's already trading. So he's not targeting people who are just getting started because someone who's just getting started won't already have a stock portfolio. Then number three, what's the action? Register for the master class. The commitment is asking for a name and email, optional phone number. When you're putting together your first landing pages, you don't need to get fancy with phone numbers. You'll see a lot of larger companies and larger influencers doing this, you don't need to do this to be successful. If anything, it's going to hurt you in the short run. And then as we saw earlier, this is a very long landing page simply because of the amount of trust he has to build. So once you've gone through that process, you can you don't have to spend more than an hour on it. It's time to actually write the copy for your landing page. And it's very important that you keep it simple. All you have to do, you want the minimum amount of effort here is what do you have to communicate in order to let the person know who's on your landing page that entering their name and email will get them closer to what they ultimately want. That's all your landing page copy has to do and not a word more. So we're going to write our landing page before we actually build the page. And this is actually where our sales funnel template comes in. So I'll link up in the description to this template. And all it is, is it helps walk you through each step of your lead generation and funnel building process and make sure that not only do you have all the right elements, also provides you with some ideas for headlines, subheadlines, gives you some copywriting formulas and some bullet formulas as well. So I definitely recommend checking it out after you're done watching this video because it even is going to help you with some of your emails. However, here to save us some time, I've gone ahead and used the exact same formula that Jason used on his landing page for our new landing page. So you can see 
our landing page is going to say, learn the three simple strategies I use that can 3X your channel income in the next 90 days. And as you can see, this is very similar to our landing page example. I've gone ahead and bolded the anchor text here. So you can actually use this exact formula for pretty much any niche or industry, right? All we did is instead of saying patterns, we said strategies, instead of talking about a portfolio, we talked about channel income and we said in the next 90 days. And so you can actually play around with these formulas. I just wanted to show you that it's very, very easy to do this, but I will link up in the description to a full blown video that walks you through everything landing page copywriting for free. And of course you can check out this template in the description. So let's go ahead and actually build our landing page now because you've gone through the research. You at least have three landing pages to model. You've written all out your sales copy. I know I really briefly went over that, but now it's time to build our landing page. So let's go ahead and head over to the landing page software that we're going to be using, MailerLite. Again, it is free to get started and it's free to get started with your landing pages. Of course, they do have some paid options, but I really like their free version as well. So we're gonna go ahead, once you create your free MailerLite account, you can do this before your account has been approved. They just need to make sure you're not gonna send a bunch of spam. You can come up here and click on sites and then we're going to click create landing page. We'll go ahead and give our landing page a name, just something quick that you'll recognize internally. That's not something that's going to be seen by people who are visiting your landing page. And then we can go ahead and select what lists or subscriber groups we want these people to be added to. And if you're doing this for the first time, then you'd go ahead and click on add new group and you're going to want to create a new group so everyone who enters their name and email is added to this group inside of your account. This is just a very simple way to make sure that you stay really organized. It's very easy for your email list to get jumbled. So I'm actually just going to name it the same thing I named the landing page. If I can spell without capitalizing random things here, I'll go ahead and click on create and I'll just add everyone to this new group. And then that way I can specifically choose later on what emails specifically these people get. So we'll click create and We'll go ahead and select it. Of course, there's nobody there. And then we'll move on to the template selection. Now, there are quite a few templates in here. So if you see one that you like and you think you don't need to modify too much to be successful, awesome, then go for it. Typically, what I like to do is actually start from scratch though. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So you can see all of the features of building the page. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And then we're actually just going to delete. So we're going to jump cut ahead to when it's finally loaded. And now that our page is loaded, we're actually gonna come up here to the top right, click on actions and remove content blocks. So you can also save as a template. So if you do a lot of work, you can save your work as a template, but we're just going to go ahead and remove everything and start from scratch. So taking a look at our ideal landing page, the first thing that we need up top is going to be a pre-headline. So we're actually going to use this headline element here, and then we're going to use text for our main headline. You'll see why you want to use text and not actually the headline element here. And we're going to need another set of text for the subheadline here. And then finally, we are going to be using a sign up form element for getting that email address. Click and drag. So these are all the elements we are going to need. And oh, there's one more, sorry for the cut, almost forgot that there was a countdown timer. So we can put a countdown timer, although we'll get to that last because it is quite limited in what it can do. But if it's very important to have a countdown timer, we can have one. So let's go ahead and start with our pre-headline. So if I go back over to my little template here, this is what makes building your landing page after you've written everything so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our little pre-headline here. I'll come back over to our template and I'm going to want this to be heading number two, six figure reveals. And I don't really need a big headline because I'm gonna be using a different element for the big headline. So we're gonna go ahead and make it um, medium. And then we can go ahead and actually click on this and we can change the style. So I don't really like the way Rail, Railway looks. So I'm just gonna use this font for most of what we're doing here. I'm going to center the text 
and I will call it good for now. Of course, we could do more, but I am going to remove the bottom spacing a little bit so there's not so much bottom spacing there. All right, so that does it for our pre-headline. So I'm going to go back over to our document here, and this is the next line of text that we're gonna drop in. Now I'm going to show you why we're using the text element because you're actually going to want to be, you're actually going to want to change some of the words colors. And you can only do that when you're actually using the text element or bolding certain things. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this gets centered, align center. And then of course you can also change how you can come in here and click enter if you want it to look like this. Although I definitely don't recommend doing it that way. Um, just let the, let the text format itself because it's not gonna show up very well on mobile. So let's go ahead and go over to settings. We're gonna take away some of that top spacing and then we'll click on content style. And this is where we're gonna change our text style again. Go over to robo, our font color. So if we change font color here, it's going to change all the font color, right? So if I click green, it's gonna make the whole thing green. We actually don't wanna do it here. I'm actually gonna make it white because we're gonna make our entire background blue. And then for font size, we can go ahead and make it as big as we want. So I'll just put it at 32 for now because obviously we can't see anything because we just made it white. And we'll make the content width medium and that will actually bring in the text quite a bit. So now we're looking at some white text. So let's go ahead and change the background of our entire page. So I'll go ahead and click save. I'll click on settings now and we'll leave it full width. Spacing is regular and you can actually change the defaults here. I forgot you could do that. So you probably want to do that first as opposed to doing, doing what I've been doing individually each time. So you have a lot of customization here with the fonts, but what I want to focus on here is actually the background. So we'll click on background. Of course you can drop in your own backgrounds, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select blue. So now everything's blue and it's very easy to read the white text. So probably should have done that first, but um, you know, learn, learn from my mistakes, right? We can actually come in here and change all of the font colors and you'll see that it automatically updated the headings. So if we wanted all of our text to be white, and just come over here and say white text and now we are good to go. Definitely should have done that in the beginning. And then our call to action button, I'm getting ahead of myself. We won't get to the call to action button yet. So on the sample page, he had some of the text actually yellow, which kind of looked cool. Um, the bold looks nice, but I think it would be even cooler if we could have some of the words yellow. So what we can do is come over here and say 3X your channel in the next 90 days. So select that and then click text color inside of your text box elements and we can change that to a yellow. Uh, that does not look as good as a landing page, but hey, we're using free software, right? So beggars can't be choosers. Let's go ahead and do that lighter one and we'll actually make all everything bold and we're going to come over here to content style and we're going to make the font even larger. So let's make it, uh, that might be a little too large. So let's leave it like that and then we'll allow the text to be wide. We'll come back over here, maybe one more, 3X. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, remember that this is going to be responsive. So what you're seeing right now, this exact lineup of words is going to change based upon the screen size. What we're looking at is the largest it will ever be. And we need to remove some of that bottom spacing so our subheadline isn't so far down. So our landing page is starting to take shape. Realize that I didn't change header, header number two. So let's just go ahead and make sure that heading number two is also white, or we could make it a little off gray. That looks nice, there we go. So let's go back to our document here and grab our subheadline. So we'll copy that subheadline, come in here to our normal text again. We'll just select all and paste, there we go. And then I actually had a space. I manually put a space in there, so class. So you can make 2020 your breakout year. That's another one that I really like to use a lot. Make, make whatever the year is your breakout year. So in um, 2019, it was 2019 your breakout year. Now it's, now it's 2020, and then it will be 2021. So we'll go ahead and make that medium. We want to remove this spacing so it's not as uh, off in, 
in no man's land there. And we can probably play with the text size a little bit. So you see the font's now what we want it to be because we changed it on the page settings. And we can bring it up a little bit. Let's say 20, 20 is good enough. So let's go back over the content and make sure that we actually say align center. So it shows up in the center. So let's go back up to this one, settings. Okay, we've removed the spacing. So one of the, one of the downsides that you'll find with um, Miller Lite is sometimes you'll have spacing that you can't really play with or, or get rid of. And that, that's okay. You're, you're not gonna lose too many people because of that awkward space. So now that we have our headline, it's time to actually create our call to action here. So people actually entering their name and email. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove all of the in sign up form elements. If we were doing bullet points, I'll show you very quickly. If you, we wanted to add some bullet points to this, if you use the template, you can scroll down here and you'll see that there's actually some bullet point HTML for you because MailerLite doesn't actually have bullet points natively as one of their feature blocks. So if we go back over to MailerLite here, using, we're inside of the signup form. And if you ever get confused, you can just look up here. See, we're inside the signup form and then we can come over here to our text box. So if I start typing, that's where the text will appear. And instead, we are going to click on this little HTML guy. I promise it's not gonna be scary. It's not gonna be scary, it's gonna be easy. We'll paste in the HTML, and now we can see that we have bullet points. So all we'd have to do is change out the bullet point number. So let's say this is about YouTube income, right? So let's say five mistakes you're making with ads, right, on your channel. Obviously, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna put a lot more effort um, than that, but as you can see, now we have some bullet points. And so then we'll come down here to the button text. Since we're offering a masterclass, we can say get started now. And maybe we want to collect more than just their email address. So we can come over here to form and we can add a field. So now we've added name. I also like adding name <laughs> just because it forces the button to be below the fields. So come on, click and drag. Every once in a while, it's buggy. There we go. Name and email. And we'll come back over to our settings here. And this is where we're going to be able to change our button. So I think the button was green on our model. So we'll go ahead and change our button background color to a green. And we can click on hover. And now we can change the hover color to something else. So we can leave it red or we can make it yellow like the headline just for congruency's sake. So we'll go ahead and click on save here. And then now you'll see that if we mouse over it, it goes to yellow when they click get started. So the only other thing we have left here is actually making sure, or two, two more things we have left. But everything we've covered up until this point, you can pretty much build any type of landing page that you need using this free piece of software. So let's go ahead and go back over to our blocks here. And we'll go ahead and add a image because we want some sort of image or product image getting people to click. We need to give them something tangi tangi tangible. We need to give them something tangible to actually look at and say, okay, that's what I'm gonna receive even if it's a digital offer. So I went ahead and created a quick little image using a screenshot from the uh, training that we have. And so now we have this little image. You can use Canva to make this type of stuff. All I did was take a screenshot of a video that we had, and then I blur blurred out the background a little bit and slapped a play button on top of it, and that is our image. You definitely want to make sure that all of your images are JPEGs and compressed. If you don't know how to compress an image, just type into Google image compressor and make sure you export everything as a JPEG and you'll be good to go. Up, You can upload your even your PNG files to a compressor. There's plenty of free ones out there and use those on your landing page. That'll make sure that your landing page loads faster. So with that, let's go ahead and remove these, these bullet points because that wasn't part of our template. Um, the very last element we have here is the countdown timer. So if you want to use a countdown timer, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these headings. You can. So we can have a countdown timer here or we can click and drag, if it will let me, all the way to the top here. And then we can actually change the background image of the timer. So we're selecting the, selected the timer, we can click settings, 
background and we can actually make it white if we wanted it to be a banner at the top. Now, it's gonna look a little awkward like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as the default blue. Um, and then for your timer settings, this is going to be manual. This isn't gonna be something that resets, so you will have to come in here and change the due date if you are going to be running it long for an extended period of time. So let's just say it's until the 30th of June. Wow, why is it in 2019? Wow, it was the in the past. Let's say it's it's all the way to June 2020 or something. So there's 98 days left to to uh, to join this master class. There we go. All right, and with that we have our landing page. The only other thing that you definitely need to consult your legal counsel with is the privacy policies, earning disclaimers, terms of use, or any other text legal text that you might need on this page. And with that, our page is complete. We are ready to save and publish. So let's go ahead and publish this. Now, if you're using the free version of MailerLite, you are going to have to use their domain. If you pay 10 or $15 a month, when you come to the settings page, you'll actually be able to click a dropdown and select one of your subdomains. So this is a subdomain we set up I am not the super, I'm not the tech person on our team. So my business partner actually set that up. So I'll go ahead and leave this be for now. And then you also want to make sure that you have your own favicon. So this is going to be that little image in the tab next to your site name. So here I'm just going to click and choose our digital agencies favicon here. Go ahead and select that. And then that way when someone goes to the landing page, they'll see that it's branded to our company versus Mailer Lite. Now, I'll link up in the description to a full-blown tutorial on everything analytics, but you do wanna make sure that you have all your analytics set up. We're just gonna go ahead and click save and continue because we're focused on just getting this landing page done. Now our landing page is complete. We also have the ability to run split tests. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing how to run split tests. I'll link up in the description to all those deep dive landing page strategy and conversion optimization rate videos. So I've gone ahead and copied this and then we're going to go straight over to our new landing page. So you can see here we have our countdown timer. We have, we probably would fix some of the spacing and then we would definitely want to go back in and actually change it so all of the page is blue and that's just going to be the bottom padding on um, this element. So thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. And most importantly, you can see how you can easily put together a decent looking landing page. It's not gonna win any design awards, but that's not what's important. You have a landing page for free. It's up and running, collecting email addresses for you. And most importantly, you can actually run traffic to these pages just like we do. So hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dive marketing videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.